that is electrostatics. So electrostatics is basically made up of two words that is electro and statics. So electro means the charge and statics means at rest. So we can call it the branch of science, yeah, branch of physics, which deals with the study of charges at rest. Or it can also be termed as static electricity or frictional electricity. So first of all, the word that comes in our mind is charge. What we actually mean by the charge. So we can define the charge. It's basically the intrinsic property of matter by virtue of which the interaction forces, that is the forces of attraction or repulsion comes into play, is called charge. Or in simple definition we can say that the loss or gain of electrons is also called charge. So by convention as told by as told by Benjamin Franklin that charge is of two types, that is positive charge and negative charge. So in magnitude form both both of the both of them have equal value that is plus minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So our next topic is properties of charge. So I will discuss about the basic properties associated with the charge. First, that is additivity. So simply additivity means the net charge on your body is simply we can calculate by algebraic sum of all the charges placed over it. That is, let's take an example. If there is at certain locations we have put about 2 coulomb charge, minus 3 coulomb charge and simply that's 2 coulomb charge. So the net charge on the body will be according to the simple rules of algebra. That is plus, three, uh, plus minus 3 coulomb, plus 2 coulomb and plus 2 coulomb. So net charge over it will be equivalent to 1 coulomb. So our uh, next property is quantization of charge. So simply quantization means that we have to calculate the net charge on an isolated body. So it states that the net charge on an isolated body is always the integral multiple of basic unit of charge is termed as one dimension of charge. That is simply by formula we can say that theory is equal to plus minus n into E. But in magnitude form we usually consider it as theory is equal to simply n into E. So, but, um, so Next, uh, moving on to the next property that is conservation. As charge is always remains conserved. So conservation is simply we can we can divide it into three further types. That is how we can show that charge remains conserved. So first of all, I will take an example of nuclear transformation. That is during any nuclear reaction. So simply let's take an example that uranium nitrate to 238 when it dissociates. Then we have thorium 234 plus an alpha particle. So during this nuclear transformation, the net charge before dissociation or before is 92. After dissociation, that is we have 90 plus 2. Simply before reaction and after reaction, the charge is always remains conserved. So second is pair production. So pair production means that a gamma ray, gamma ray always materializes into electron and proton. That is simply because as we know that there is no charge on gamma radiations. So whenever it materializes into anything, into any metal, we have electron and proton. Simple, that is the net charge here, here is equal to zero and after also we can clearly show it that is minus 1 and plus 1 it, it equals to 0. Further we have the third process by which we can uh, show the charge remains conserved is annihilation. Annihilation means the destruction in pairs that is whenever an electron and a proton combines it forms into gamma so annihilation means that is whenever an electron and a proton comprises then we have gamma radiations. So it's also termed as destruction in pairs. Then further the basic property of charge is the like charge. Like charge is repels each other that is either it will be positive positive combination or negative negative combination. And the next part is the like charge is attraction each other. That is either it will be we can write it positive negative or negative positive. That will be similar. So let's uh, deeply discuss the quantization of charge. So quantization that as we discussed the net charge on an isolated. Isolated means separated. Simply like 
it's our current situation that we are being separated from our relatives or friends or our basically our students so always the integral multiple of basic unit of charge that is q is equal to plus minus n where n can be 1 2 3 up to n values but n can never be in fraction that is 1 by 3 we are 1 by 2 we cannot say that there is half electron simply the basic the basic value of charge on an electron is considered the ele elementary charge that is the lowest possible value of charge so for today it's enough as we have discussed so we will be moving on the next topic tomorrow